Hey there and welcome to the channel. My name is Dominic and in this video I'm going to show you two different ways to create this cool RGB split effect inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. Let's jump in. There are two different ways to do this effect inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. First, I'll show you the easy method, then I'll show you the slightly more complicated method which renders a better result in my opinion. So here we are inside of Premiere Pro. The first thing we're going to do is drag our footage into the timeline. Next I'm going to make a new adjustment layer. Then I'm going to drag that adjustment layer on top of my footage. Next we're going to go to effects and search for the effect channel blur. Drag this effect onto the adjustment layer we just created. To apply the effect we're just going to go up to effect controls, click on our adjustment layer, and begin to dial in these options here. We're going to want to turn on repeat edge pixels. To apply the effect, we're just going to adjust the color channel blurriness and it starts to blur that specific color channel and create the color separation effect that we're going for. In this shot, it's kind of hard to see, so I'll zoom in for you. You can see when I turn the effect on and off, it's blurring the edges of these harsh contrast areas. This is a subtle effect, but it's an easy and efficient way to add some interesting color fringing to your video clips. This effect would be perfect if you're trying to make some footage look old or slightly deteriorated. We're going to start by bringing our footage into the timeline. Duplicate your footage twice by clicking on the clip, dragging up, holding alt, and releasing. We'll do this twice. Next, we're going to search for the effect Channel Mixer. Make sure you select the color correction channel mixer and not the audio effect channel mixer. Apply this effect to all three copies of your video clip. Go to effect controls, then click on the bottom clip and scroll down to the channel mixer. Set the red and green color channel values to zero. Go to the second clip and select the red and blue color channels and set them to zero. Go to the third clip and set the blue and green channels to zero. You see in our top clip, we've completely removed all colors besides red. In our second clip, we've completely removed all colors besides green. And in our third clip, we've completely removed all colors besides blue. The next step is to set the blend mode to the top two video clips to screen. Your video clip should now look like the original again. Now that everything is all set up, you can start messing around with the positioning of each of the clips and offset the colors to create some RGB split effects. There are a lot of ways you can get creative with this by using position, scale, rotation, or you can even experiment by layering other effects on top of this one. For example, use the lens distortion effect to create an RGB fringe effect around the edges of the frame. Here's a little pro tip. I would recommend uh, color coding each of your video clips so you know which channel is on which clip. I hope you were able to learn a few useful techniques in this video. Please don't forget to leave a comment and drop a like. It helps the channel out so much. And if you enjoyed this video, you might want to also consider subscribing so you don't miss out on future content. Once again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.